So welcome to my channel, that's what we call The Good Life. Now today I'm gonna to be talking about all the things that you can sow in the month of September. Um, and if you've not already done so, you know what I'm gonna say, if you can please subscribe to my channel because you'll get to see lots of helpful hints and tips all throughout the year from my allotment, my home garden, and from time to time, my home kitchen. So even though it's getting towards the end of the year and we're starting to feel the, you know, the beginnings of, of autumn, there are still some things that you can sow now if you've still got room. If you're anything like me, it's room you're struggling for because there's still lots and lots of things in the ground, but I'm gonna be popping a few things in uh, and I hope you will do too. Now, first of all, um, I've popped a few things into my greenhouse because I wanna take them over the winter. And even though I've got stuff up at the allotment, I sometimes find I don't go up there quite as much as I normally do. So I've popped some, um, some things that I could use for salad leaves in. So the first thing I've popped in is this Lola Rossa. So, although they're not completely frost hardy, they do take a little bit, and I'm hoping in the greenhouse um, they might last even better. So I've popped some of those in literally only a few days ago. Um, and to my amazement, I popped in some Mizuna. Now these are quite hardy and can actually go outside, but because I had a little bit of room in here, I just thought I'd pop them in here. And to my amazement, in a couple of days, they've already started to sprout, which I'm really chuffed about. I'm in fact quite stunned, if I'm gonna be honest, because literally a couple of days ago I popped those in. And then up at the end here, I've popped in some pak choy. So, there we go. So literally squeezing these things in and around other things that are in there. So, nothing's germinated there, I don't think. Um, there might be a couple of little ones actually. Do you know what? I think I have actually got a couple of little ones just popped through. And that's because the ground is so warm. You know, everyone thinks this time of year that you can't start anything off. But the ground's so warm, things germinate so much quicker than they do at the start of the season when it's colder. It's actually not a bad thing. If you get things in, um, you might just surprise yourself. And even if you only use them as small leaves, so a lot of the things you'll plant now, you may very only you may very use a small leaves, and there's other lettuces you can you can sow as well. So that's an all year rounder. This um, speedy mix, exactly what it says on the tin, a mixture of things that can you know grow all year round. So it's a mixture of rocket, Greek cress, mustard, um, red lace, mustard piso, pak choy green, and mizuna in that as well. So in all these things, you, know, you don't have to wait for them to get really big, you can harvest them as small leaves. And there's a mixed lettuce head there, so that's another one that you could pop a few in of. You know, again, you wouldn't necessarily be waiting for them to mature as big leaves. You could do some ruby streaks, there's some mustard ruby streaks, which is very hardy and could actually go outside. Um, rocket's also another good one, which is very, very hardy. I often have a little bit of rocket in my garden, um, and I always go for the wild rocket because I find that it, it self-seeds itself year after year. I won't have to do any of that myself because I've already got some that self-seeded. When it gets a little bit tatty and a little bit shabby, I normally cut it back or pull it out, and there's usually plenty that self-seeded and lots of new ones growing. So that's another good one as well. So some other things you can be sowing, and which I'm going to pop a couple in my little raised bed here, is I'm going to be popping in some radishes because they grow really quickly in about six to eight weeks, as do some turnips, another really quick growing one, and that one's called snowball. So obviously they're quite small, like golf sized ball ones when I harvest them. So I've cleared this little section. One of my biggest things is actually having anywhere to put stuff at the moment, because most of my allotment I don't know about yours, is, is full of things, but if you're lucky enough to have a little bit of space, um, I'm just gonna pop a few in, because if you put too many of some of these things in, especially the radishes, if you put too many radishes in, they, they go over anyway, and you don't get to eat them all. I invariably sow far too many radishes, and they all come on at the same time. I sow them too thickly, and they're more likely to bolt. Um, or maybe it's just me. So. So I'm just going to sprinkle a few of these in, just in the little drill that I've done along there. So just thinly, although I don't know about anyone else, it never seems quite as thinly as I would like. So obviously little seeds like this, you don't sow them. And it doesn't matter if you go out the lines a little bit. I've just done a little tiny drill just to drop them gently in. Like so. What I'm going to do 
a similar thing with the turnips over the other side, just so we can get a few radishes in, because all my other radishes are finished and I hadn't put any turnips in. And then just gently edge the soil over the seeds like that. Of what was in there before, and then I'll just gently water them and I'll put them in. There we go, and hopefully, I'll get a quick crop of radishes. So, some of the things you're sowing at the moment, you're trying to get a quick crop, and some of the things you're actually going to be overwintering. So, that's the turnips and the radishes. So, another thing you can be putting in is rocket. So another good one, like I said, I grow rocket and it keeps self-seeding every year, so I won't have to sow anymore. Um, but if I didn't have any, I could pop some rocket in and kale as well. You'd more be sowing kale for just small leaves that you could obviously put into stir fries and salads and things like that. But it's not too late to pop a little bit of kale in. You never know, it might get a little bit bigger like this over here. Um, but don't necessarily expect it to this time of year. So something else which I haven't sourced yet, but these are my cards from last year, um, from the packets, is some garlic and some um, onion sets. So you can be picking those up and pl planting those from September if you want to. I generally put mine in in October, but there's nothing wrong if you're putting them in a little bit sooner if you wish. One of my favourites is chard and spinach, although my very favourite is the Bright Lights chard um, because I just think it adds a lot of colour to either salads and stir fries and things like that. And again, more you're, you're, you're planting those more to get some smaller leaves and if they get a little bit bigger then it's an added bonus this time of year. And if you need some more spring onions, um, I've got plenty because I've put lots in and I've got the bunching ones. You can put some spring onions in this time of year as well. And if you wanted to start off your onions from seed rather than sets, you could do that too. Although personally, I always use onion sets because I find it a lot easier. Um, and of course you could always start off a little bit of mustard on your windowsill and all those kind of sprouted seeds. The other things you could be doing at the moment is pea shoots. Um, you know, you put the peas in, you wouldn't necessarily expect to get any peas, but you could you could do it just for the pea shoots to put in salads. If you wanted to overwinter broad beans, you could be starting some um, broad beans off this time of year, or you could wait till the spring. It's completely up to you. And you could also be starting off some spring cabbage in module trays if you wanted to. Or, of course, check out your garden centre, see what they've already got in that's already started off. There's nothing wrong with that. I've said this before, we don't have to start everything off from seed. There's nothing wrong with that at all. And lastly, if you wanted to it's not too late to get some potatoes in buckets somewhere or in a um, greenhouse which you wanted to do for Christmas um, if you want some potatoes for Christmas now's a really good time to be planting them but you would want them to be somewhere where you could keep them frost free so if you've got them in a bucket you could keep them in a porch if, if the frost came and um, but as long as you put them somewhere and um, where you can then keep them frost free if that's what you wanted to do now I hope that's been really helpful and has inspired you to sow a few things if you've got any space um, or if you've not started already and I'd love to know if there's anything that you're starting off in September um, that does particularly well.